In this video, I'm going to be giving you kind of an overview of how match coverage works against compression sets and how you can actually uh, make it better and actually make match coverage really practically very solid at defending any kind of gun tight set. Uh, in Madden 23. Now, if you want to get my entire match defensive ebook, we're going to be dropping a brand new update to it later this week. But it's in the Patreon. Everything is in the Patreon. All ebooks, all updates. You can get that by joining for just 10 bucks. Literally over 25 different offensive and defensive ebooks. So I'd really encourage you to check out the Patreon. The link is down in the description below. Let's talk about compression sets and how match coverage works against pr pr uh, compression sets. Specifically, I'm talking about tight, tight slots, tight offset, tight uh, doubles, right? Gun tight. How does it work against this? Um, and for the purpose of this video, we're not going to be oddly into tight, but there are some minor adjustments that you want to make if your opponent is consistently like coming out and audibly into tight. For example, you might need to flip your play or, you know, whatever. So but let's just take this at face value. Now, if you come into your coach adjustments, if you have on next gen, make sure this is on match. Um, if you're on current gen, don't worry about it. You already got it. Just make sure you don't set zone drops. Okay. Three, three cub. My full ebook on this formation is also in the Patreon and three, three cub to me is the best defense because it has great pressure, but it has incredible coverage. The coverage from this is very adaptable and versatile. And that's why I, I kind of landed on either this one or Big Nickel right now for right now as my two main schemes. Um, but we do have Dollar and 146 and everything. I've ran all that this year. But this one is my favorite because of this play right here, Cover 4 Show 2. This is Cover 4 Quarters Match Coverage. Okay? That's how this is practically going to play out. We're going to come out in 3-3 three, three and Audible into it because we're going to get better adjustments. Now, how does this coverage work against compression sets? Big big idea here and this will take you it, it will save you hours of lab work the coverage works differently to the side the running back is on as opposed to the side that there's two receivers so match coverage generally and traditionally you number receivers outside inside so basically if i look at this set michael thomas is considered the number one receiver tyreek hill is considered the number two receiver to the left side, okay? If we look to the right side, CeeDee Lamb is the number one receiver, and George Kittle is the number two receiver, okay? So very simple, that is your traditional numbering system. Now the running back is actually the third receiver in, in terms of how this formation is gonna be judged by match principles. If you look here, you see your, your middle linebacker has the three receiver hook. If I run something like this, watch the linebacker. You'll see the linebacker is going to, lately, he's going to go into the left side. Now, we're going to continue to kind of pound this a little bit, but really the idea here is we get a different coverage check. Match coverage within it has built-in checks for certain formations. For example, against Bunch, you're going to get what's known as a box check. A box check is a four over three coverage that is going to create a box over three receivers. So essentially this guy would be the bottom corner. This guy's the top corner. This guy's the middle or the inside corner. And this guy is the inside corner. So what this practically means is if any of those receivers run up and out, that outside quarter is going to get them. So an example like this flood, you're going to see here, that this is going to be that four over three idea, that box check mentality. And I'll show you in instant replay. That's a, an example of a coverage check. Another coverage check you're going to get, especially in trips formations, is you're going to get what's known as solo, which I'll come, uh, I'll talk about that in just a second. But if you look here, you're going to notice the box check is active. The running back is taken by this quarter flat defender who has the bottom outside corner. Who has the top outside corner? Not the safety, no, the corner. And you see he takes the top, the, the corner route. And then Thomas, who's running a vertical, is taken by the inside corner. Now the three receiver hook, if you watch late in this play right here, you see that he has realized that there's nobody coming in the middle, and now I can be free to run over here to the outside. 
He's the guy in no man's land 90% of the time in com against compression sets. Good thing we're going to be using him in this example. Now, solo check, what that means is in a trips formation, like let's say that you're playing and there's three receivers to a side and then there's one receiver backside. What a solo check basically means is we're going to play two-on-two -two basketball. So in essence, this guy is going to be in man coverage and this guy is going to be in man coverage on a solo because typically you're going to have a running back and like if I was in bunch, I'll show you here. So if I was in bunch and tight really is a, a different kind of a, a little bit different of a version of bunch, but you get box. So you get the box check over here. Okay. And then on the back side, you get what's known as solo, which means this guy might as well be manned up on the back, and this guy might as well be manned up on this left receiver. Now, this guy is the interesting guy in the whole in the whole picture here because he's actually in what's known as uh, poach, poach technique or robber technique. So essentially what he's doing is he's looking to cut a crosser from the three side. So if you get verticals, you're going to see here that this deep crosser is should get double teamed by the match coverage you see there. Now, the crosser is so good that he ends up out leveraging them and actually giving himself a shot to catch the ball. Now, back to tight for a second. So that's kind of what we're getting here. And where you see this is if I run a streak, a corner, and a flat on both sides, you're going to notice they play them significantly differently. You're going to see here on the back side, you get rubs and you get random missed assignments. And Madden has basically just not coded the game well, in my opinion, because this right here is ridiculous. <laughs> like, this is just ridiculous as you look at this. This is not good defense. And you notice the tight end standing wide open. Okay? Now, over here, though, it's perfect defense. This defends it perfectly. This is awesome. It's great. Okay, so the question is, what's the best adjustments for match? Well, essentially what you're getting on the backside, and if you look at mesh spot, this is a great example, is you're actually going to get a decent check, but the main problem is really in the flooding of zones to the, to the uh, side opposite the running back. But if you watch here, you're going to notice the match coverage actually can do a really good job at defending any kind of like deep post or deep crosser from that two receiver side so you see here you see here this is pretty decent defense you see it's double teamed really well topped and then the three wreck is really the responsible party for that first inside remember first inside of the box if anyone comes across the formation that three receiver hook is going to defend him okay so how do you defend tight what i like to tell people is this and we're going to play in 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 quarters, it's what's known as a split field coverage. That means this coverage over here, the center is the divider. Everyone to this left side of the center, they're doing their own thing. And everybody to the right side of their center, they're doing their own thing. So what you have, and this is why um, match coverage should be the best coverage all the time, because you get what's known as these triangles. You get triangles and boxes based on the leverage. So like in this example here, we have a box to the left, and then we have what's known as a triangle coverage to the right. We have three over two. This should be incredible coverage, and it's terrible coverage. Why? Because what you really get, practically speaking, is you get delayed man coverage from these two defenders, Bailey and Woodson. Delayed man coverage, okay? So the solution uh, to this, like if you run something like this, you'll see here, that delayed man coverage might be good and it might give up the corner. So the solution is to essentially create your own triangle concept. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna outside third that corner that is opposite of the running back. We're gonna inside third the corner that is, or the safety that is opposite the running back. We're gonna blitz our user, okay? And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this linebacker uh, Perez, this this uh, linebacker that's blitzing, and we can do a lot of different things with him. Really simply put, we're going to hard flat both of these linebackers. This is going to make it a little simpler on us. Um, if you want to, you can curl flat that linebacker on the tight end side. Uh, I think that's a fair adjustment. And then we're just going to vert hook that nickel corner. 
This, to me, is the best gun type defense in the game. Now, if they run a route to the right side, guess what your job is as the user? If you see both routes go vertical over on that right side, your lurk, guess what you're doing? You're opening over here now and helping this because this is really the problem area, as you saw right there, as that tight end was standing wide open. Okay? But what I like to do right now is we're going to hard flat the, back, the backer uh, that is on the running back side. Okay? And then we're going to third the back side of that. As you can see, we got an outside third and an inside third. And then we have a, what I like to do is have a vert hook on the field because vert hooks are very ex are extremely effective. In fact, if you were playing tight offset, the vert hook will actually match the corner because the running back would be on the other side. Okay. Now, let's say they do something like this. This is kind of an adjustment. Let's say they motion anybody to the right side. Guess what you're doing? You're re-audibling into cover four show two. And then all you're going to do is you're going to basically play traditional quarters. Okay. Now, in empty sets, what I like to do is man up the number three receiver with that blitzing linebacker. So we're just going to man him up and play our quarters. And as you see here, we're able to play really good defense. Okay. So that's how I play match coverage against tight. It's the best defense in the game for tight sets. If you want to learn more about this, we have a ton of information in our Patreon, um, in our match coverage defensive ebook, and in our 3 3 cub defensive ebook. Complete ebooks that show you how to defend every formation in the game, but they also show you a little bit more in depth how to defend gun tight, which we're seeing is, is obviously the number one offense this year. So make sure that you're in the Patreon if you're not yet. Link is in the description. $10 gets you access to everything in the Patreon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.